artistas, this is Miss Paulisi. Bienvenidos. As artists, we often use our creativity to make a work of art. But what does it mean to be creative? Para este proyecto, we will use our imaginations to create a creative creature. Vamonos. Let's learn more. Hoy usaremos our imagination to sketch ideas for a new creative creature. But first, how do you use your imagination? ¿Cómo puedes usar tu imaginación? You can visualize new ideas or transform what you already know to make something new. Let's take a look at how other artists were able to use their imaginations to create new creatures. What animals do you think were transformed to make these creatures? ¿Qué partes familiares ves? Royal Lacey Scoville was a successful broker in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was a self-taught artist who created these illustrations as part of a children's book titled The Dream of Tom Tompkins, which he created for his daughter Eleanor. Notice how Royal used colors and patterns for these creative creatures. Micheline Hess was born and raised in New York City. In addition to being an independent comic book creator, she's also an accomplished digital painter. She's most adept at creating characters and stories that provide a safe and fun way to inspire young children, especially girls. How can you inspire others with the creature you create? Studio Ghibli was founded in 1985 by directors Hayao Miyazaki and Aisao Takahata. It is a Japanese animation film studio headquartered in Tokyo. Their most recognized films include My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away. What other animated movies or TV shows do you know that include creative creatures? Jem Ham is an Australian self-taught artist who's fueled by a passionate need to create. Notice all of the different familiar elements he combines within his creatures. ¿Qué objetos puedes tener en tu criatura? Carla Sondheim is a painter, illustrator, and creativity instructor. Her fun and innovative projects are designed to help students discover a more spontaneous, playful approach to creating. ¿Cómo puedes incorporar alegría en tu dibujo? Henry Darger was an American writer and artist who worked as a custodian in Chicago. He illustrated and wrote an epic fantasy tale that's more than 15,000 pages long. Notice the intricate details in his winged creatures. ¿Qué detalles quieres dibujar en tu criatura? Remedios Barro was a Spanish-Mexican artist. She was one of the few acknowledged female surrealist painters of the first half of the 20th century. Vajro had a unique and peculiar approach to surrealism. These creatures seem to have human characteristics. ¿Qué piensas del arte? Arne Olav Gervin Fredriksen, also known as Giparama, is a Norwegian electronics engineer that occasionally makes animal hybrid pictures using a digital program called Photoshop. What animals and photographs could you combine para hacer tu criatura? Now it's your turn to draw a creative creature. If you're not sure how to get started, you can begin by using shapes. Shapes, or figuras, are one of the seven elements of art. Artists use these seven elements to help them make their work. You can use a combination of geometric and organic shapes to draw your creature. Empieza by drawing some geometric and organic shapes. This pues, draw all of your creative details. Be sure to use your imagination. Your creature will likely need to have the following body parts. Una cabeza, orejas, ojos, cuello, nariz. Boca, cuerpo, y brazos o piernas. Some additional details you might want to include are a tail, fin, wings, horns, 
spikes, scales, feathers, fur, hair, a trunk or a beak, tentacles, a shell, and more. Remember, these are just ideas to get you started. This is your creative creature, so it can look however you want it to. Take a look at how I use geometric and organic shapes to begin drawing my creature. Then, I added details to my work. Notice how I used my imagination and transformed some familiar elements to create something new. Ahora, it's your turn to draw your own creative creature. Primero, use your imagination. Visualize what you want your creature to look like. Después, use geometric and organic shapes to draw your creature. Make sure to add as many unique details as you can imagine. Finalmente, add color to your creature. If you finish sketching out an idea para una criatura, you can always draw another. I can't wait to see your wonderful work. Para la próxima clase, we will begin drawing our own creative creature and habitat. Recuerda, as Maya Angelou once said, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Until next time, adios artistas. <laughs>